Hey, so you want to know how a maths trade works? Well, to start with, let's have a little talk about what a maths trade actually is. Uh, so, it's basically a chain of, of people who want to trade their games. So, if Steve owns Skull, and he'd quite like to get a copy of Patchwork, Pete, who owns Patchwork, might not want to trade it for Skull. But luckily, with the help of Alice's Avalon, we can get a chain going so that Pete gets Avalon, Alice gets Skull, and Steve gets Patchwork, like he wanted. So that's the, the principle of what it is. So let's have a look at how it actually works. We'll start by going to Board Game Geek and finding the... We'll start by going to your search engine of choice and let's say binging mass trades and then maybe your area. There's lots of mega lists where you can subscribe and get notified when there's a new mass trade, so subscribe to those relevant to your area. Um, although I already know one's running now, so I'm going to click straight through to that. First thing about this is read the goddamn rules because otherwise you'll be the person who doesn't know the goddamn rules. So there's a discussion thread if you've got questions. There's some suggested want lists of people and things they want in these trades. So. First, you'll see all these items down here. Uh, there are an awful, awful lot of them. Uh, there are 25 a page and there are 94 pages. So let's go add our item to the list. Add item. Okay, so I'm going to add a duplicate copy of Love Letter uh, that we own because I've moved in with my girlfriend. So let's add that. Love Letter 2012. You see I've got the image there. And you'll want to add any extra details that help people buy it. So in this case, I'm going to say it's the Tempest edition, because it is. Uh, don't lie, if it's in bad condition, just be upfront about it. All right, let's save that. And that is now in there. There's item 2351. That's a lot of stuff. Cool. All right. Um, it's also worth noting there are a few special tags you could use. You could use an alt name tag to add things like money or geek gold. Um, so look those up if you're interested. I'm not going to explain it in detail. You can do that yourself. Now we're going to go and check out the want list organizer tool. This is manually updated. So my copy of Love Letter won't actually be there until uh, the organizer of the trade or possibly the website. Uh, chooses to update the the system, so uh, we're going to use some items that I put there already, like Blue Peter. Yeah. Uh, so we're going to go to bdg.activityclub.org slash olwolg, or O-L-W-L-G, and that takes us to this page. Um, you will have to log in. Uh, the login process involves them sending you a geek mail, but I'm sure you can work that out on your own. Um, and it takes you to this page where I'm now logged in as my board game username. Um, and I've got my active math trades. It's the UK math trade, April 2017. So go into the math trade. And you can see all of the items have been added since the last time I looked at the list. I actually want to look at everything on the list. So let's click here. OK, there we go. And now you can see all 2,000 some items here. And you have a bit of information about these things, um, the little descriptions people have written. And you can add something to your want list. So let's go down to the bottom somewhere. All right. Um, let's say that I want to get diamonds. That's meant to be good, isn't it? OK, so I'll add that. And I've got an item here for 500 geek gold. I've also got a couple of my real games that I'm trading. So let's add it to the geek gold. Save that. And as much as you haven't seen anything dramatic there, that is now in my list. So let's go back to the top. I can now click on step four, or click here to edit your wants, and that takes me to the things I've picked already. So you see here, here's a bunch of things I've selected as more than you possibly need to. I think maybe on your first mass trade don't go quite as mad as I have. Um, so let's say there's a game of Libertalia here. Great, I am willing to trade either of my three current lots in there for that. You'll also notice there's a couple of extra columns at the side. Um, these are for dummy... They're kind of dummy items. Let's explain how dummy items work. They help protect me from getting duplicates of a game. In the mass trade, there are two copies of Revolution going. 
I like Revolution. I'd really like to own Revolution. So I want them. But I only want one of them. I don't want both. So what I've done is I've created a fake item containing nothing. Um, and it's only visible to me. And that item is called Revolution. Aha! <laughs> and then for that, I, I'm willing to trade any of my standard three lots for it. So that's great. This means that then when I pick my... Uh, when I've got the two real copies of Revolution, they are ticked under my fake copy of Revolution. So what that means is that any of my three could be traded for the dummy item, and the dummy item is the only thing that can be traded for a real copy. And because I've only got one dummy item, I'm only going to get one copy of the real thing. Um, there are guides for this online that you can search um, if that's a bit confusing. Um, there is also an automatic tool that helps a little bit, so um, use the resources that are there. And if you don't really get it, if you still don't like it, then don't pick two of the same game and you can't get duplicates. Or if you only list one game, then you're never going to get duplicates because you're only going to get one thing back. So that's that. And once uh, the trade closes, we'll be able to uh, submit our want lists and um, and gets to the next stage of the process. I've come back to this a bit later now, and I've checked and double checked my wish list to make sure that any trade that I've suggested here is a trade I would be happy with. You can be sure that if I selected anything that wasn't good, I'd be getting that one. So I'm now ready to submit my wish list. So I can submit my lists here, and you can double check here, I've already done that. Um, you can see I've got quite a lot of cash offers, in the sense that if someone was willing to give me, you know, £40 for this game, I would take that. And obviously the games that I'd like, I can now officially submit my wants. And there we go. There's no editing that now. So, this is exciting. This is where the wait begins. We'll see what happens. Woo! It's three days later. The results are back. So, there have been a couple of hiccups. There have been two reruns. Uh, and what this is generally is that someone is unwilling or unable to fulfil a trade that they said they would do. Um, let's say they thought they were getting a copy of the game that wasn't in German. They might be really unhappy and not willing to fulfil. And if someone's not willing to fulfil, because it is a giant circle, um, it is a problem. So the organiser is somewhat forced to do a rerun, uh, taking them out of the equation. So um, this has happened twice because it's a big trade. So I got a good first result, and there was a rerun, and I got a good second result, and there was a rerun, and I'm still with the same result. So I got really lucky here. Uh, other people on the forums, not so much, which is unfortunate, but it's what would have happened if someone wasn't making mistakes in the first place. So, it is part of the risk. Um, don't get too attached to your first result, because it's not final. Alright, let's have a look at how it's gone. Olwolg! Alright, so here's the Olwolg. The most important thing is the results summary, so let's go straight to that. And you can see, here in simplistic format, I'm going to click to table format, make it a bit easier to read. Here we go. Ah. You can easily see now I've made three successful trades. So I'll be receiving Set, Hive, and Revolution plus Expansion. And I'm giving away some Geek Gold, Love Letter, and Escape Room, the game. This is three of my four, which is 75%. That's actually a really good ratio. A lot of people here are trading 50 or 25% of their stuff. So uh, 75 is really great. I'm really happy with that. Um, and I'm very excited for the Revolution game, because I happen to have played it and know it's excellent, so... Um, I'm excited for that. He's getting something he finds a bit more exciting, and Escape Room's going to someone who's already been posting how, how much they're looking forward to it, so that's great. I, I think it's doing its job excellently. There's actually some extra features you can check out here as well. Uh, so, you can also see who wanted mine. And even though Quarriers did not trade, I can see some games that did get offered for it, as it were, from a couple of people. And also if I view all the items, I can see that a few items were offered but then got traded away. Um, and what's actually exciting about this is if I go down to, say, my love letter one, 
I'm not excited about any of these games. They're all rubbish, in my opinion. Uh, that San Juan's great, but all right. Um, but I'm actually thrilled because I got something I wanted out of it, and someone else gets love letter that they want. So the system really did, does work. Like I don't know how many direct trades I'd have done from these lists. Almost none, but I'm absolutely thrilled with what I've come out with. So. The system does basically work. Another thing just worth remembering now is now it's time to ship these games. Um, read the rules as you should have already, and in this particular trade, the uh, the person who currently possesses the game pays the shipping costs. So that's great. Some trades are location only, so you can actually see down here there's various conventions. Um, no ship math trade. That's a good idea. Shame I'm not going to any conventions. So there you have it. That was a short introduction to maths trades and why they're interesting and clunky and weird and good. Uh, so I'm Thomas. Come check out my blog, Octopus Tactics, or the Facebook page that links you to the blog or something. Or don't. That's fine too. And yeah, get involved. Get involved with the maths trade. Give it a try. Cheers.